Hi everybody! Welcome to this tutorial which is how to design your own face mask. It's the first day back for the schools and I've painted my nails a bright cheery colour to celebrate getting back to real work. So hope everybody stays safe and everything works out well for everybody. Okay, so I've got a face mask here. This is one that I've already used and I washed it. So I'm going to do a design on it quickly. I mean, you can use a brand new face mask. You can still wear it once, but then obviously you need to, disp these are disposable face masks. And I thought rather than disposing of them, you could create some art out of them. So you could use a new ma face mask, design, wear, and then you could put it in a frame or whatever you wanted to do. You could wear it blank and then paint it and put it in a frame or hang it because it's got these hangy bits on the side, whatever you want to do. Okay, so I'm going to use fabric painting pens. You can get them in all shapes and sizes. I've got some fluorescent ones here by Dylon and some uh, Carioca Art Chromatex pens as well. But you could use any kind of fabric paint um, or fabric ink. So I'm going to use the fluorescent ones because I'm a 80s rave child. <laughs> so I love my fluorescent colours. So I'm going to start as you can see from my nails, um, of which they've got a, a wonderful range of fluorescent nail varnish in uh, accessorise at the moment. For those who like to paint their nails, that is. So, I mean, these pens are really, really old, but they may or may not work very well. I've got to try them out. They might just need to be got going a bit. So because this background is already white, um, I have no problem with this. Is, I think this one's dried up already. Oh, well. Let's try another one. Maybe they're all in the same state. I mean, the problem is that I have things in storage for such a long time that I don't know what. Oh, that one's all right. Right. So we've got an orange. I'm just going to do a very simple abstract pattern on here. I've made sure that my mask is the right way. I mean, with something that's abstract, it doesn't really matter. But make sure that your mask is the right way up. And you tell that by where the metal, the metal ridge is here. So that's the right way up. That's if you want a an image to be the right way up. And these pens are great because you can just draw directly onto the fabric. Um, some fabric paints and pens ask you to fix the ink using an iron and you can iron these things. Just put a little bit of um, sort of a paper towel or even a towel over the mask itself and then iron it. That's just to be safe so that you don't ruin your design. You can even put a piece of um, baking parchment over the top when you iron it. So this may or may not be the quickest way to do it for you. It depends what you enjoy using. But I... Um, laid out a design, well I thought about a design should I say, before I started. I just played around with a few sketches. Um, I'm going to make this area green coming down here. So you can see that the pen adheres really well to the fabric because these are made out of some sort of uh, I don't know what it is actually, some sort of cotton I think, fabric. 
and it's just a shame that you know they're already turning up on beaches and stuff like that so you know be aware they're asking people to cut the elastic on the sides before they put them in the bin because they are they are trapping animals already the elastic bits are getting caught around legs and causing all sorts of issues so be aware of what you're throwing away this is not a good time you know most a lot of people are using the reusable fabric masks um but again they're you know they're quite expensive so people tend it especially when you're trying to save money you tend to go for the cheaper options especially if you're out of work so chop those elastic side bits cut them in half before you put them in the bin so there we have our green bit and now I'm going to put a blue bit up the top here I don't know how dark this blue is oh it's not too bad so this is just a really simple abstract I mean it's got it's reminiscent of landscape but loosely linked not intentional but I mean you could do any pattern I was looking at mandala patterns because they're really beautiful um, and they would be a great thing to do on a face mask and of course you know this is now a one-off unique piece and something that you can wear for a time and then you can put in a little frame if you think it's worth saving you don't have to throw it away you could even do a few of these and send them to friends and family special one-off and the little gauze around the outside just happily finds itself now i haven't got a black or anything like that so i'm just wondering what other colour I could use? I could use, well, we've got a, a blue here. So I'm just going to do some dots randomly in an area. Actually, that this is the Chromatex and it's bleeding slightly, so it's making a really nice effect but you may not want that effect, so just be aware of that. And it's probably bleeding because it's got slightly more ink in it than the other ones were quite dry. And there's no reason why you couldn't bring your dots down onto here if you wanted to, onto the gauze around the outside. But you can see that that's behaving rather differently because of the undercoat actually that's quite nice i'm going to use uh what did i not use pink was the pink working i don't know anyway i'm going to put some lines on here and again let's see if they bleed they're not bleeding at the moment and actually that's turning out to be a sort of orangey color really rather than a so these are random lines coming down here There, maybe we'll have some blue ones. No, uh, um, let's have a think now. Let's put some, let's put some vertical ones up here, like this. So you can see that the colour mixes. That's created an orange, which was the pink, but this doesn't seem to be mixing, although it is turning a bit purple in places. some on here also no I think I'm going to leave it at that I quite like that so there you go just a quick face mask abstract so um, just let it dry off and like I said just um, give it an eye in um, just to fix it and have a bit of fun with it there's just a, like instant um, pieces of artwork and you, you know you could colour around the outside you could do whatever you wanted all right 
Enjoy. Stay safe. Wear your mask.